Hi, and welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. My name is Erin, and on my videos, I show you how to create DIY bath and beauty products. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's video. On today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a DIY foot scrub. This is a unique scrub as it not only helps with removing any dead skin cells, but it also helps with any foot odor. So let's go ahead and get started creating. So to begin making this foot scrub, I will be adding some finely ground sea salt to my beaker. Now, salt works very similar to the way that sugar does in scrubs. The only difference is salt helps to remove any toxins from the body. For better exfoliation, I'll now be adding some Himalayan salt. This is great because it really helps to improve the overall texture of the skin. So now that both my salts have been added, this next ingredient, baking soda, is something that I really wanted to incorporate in this particular scrub, simply because not only does it gently exfoliate, but it also helps with any foot odor. To help with any dried skin on the feet, I am now going to be adding some white Kalon clay to my beaker. So now that the clay's been added, I'm gonna go ahead and break down any clumps that I might find in the salt or the baking soda, and then I will gently stir to make sure that all the ingredients are nicely incorporated. In a separate beaker, I will be now adding some calendula infused oil. This will help with any dry, cracked skin on the feet. Now that my oil's been added, I'm gonna go ahead and add a preservative. The one that I have chosen to use today is going to be GeoGuard. Now the reason that I'm adding this is because there is a chance that I could get water in the scrub and I just don't want any bacteria to be growing in it. This next step is optional, but I am choosing to go ahead and add a little fragrance oil to my scrub as I want it to be nice and fresh and uplifting. Back to the larger beaker with the dry ingredients, I have chosen to add some jojoba beads. Not only do they offer a gentle way to exfoliate dead skin cells, but the ones that I am using today are going to add a nice pop of color. Now that I've added those jojoba beads, I'm going to give it a quick stir. I want to make sure that they are dispersed throughout the foot scrub. Because I want my foot scrub to be a little more vibrant in color, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this fuchsia colored mica. Now I'll be adding a little at a time and then stirring and I'll just keep doing this until I get my desired color. I now have achieved the desired color that I want for my scrub, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into my container here. This makes exactly eight ounces, and to use this foot scrub, you're going to just apply it to dry skin, and then with the palm of your hand, massage it in. And once you're done massaging it, you're going to want to follow up by rinsing it thoroughly off with warm water and that basically is how you're going to use it. Here's a quick peek of the finished product. I really like this color. Here is the formula that I used to create this foot scrub. I've also included some substitutions. Now I know some of you are going to ask if you can use sugar instead of salt. And for this formula, I would say no. And the reason for that is because you want the salt in the scrub, it helps to pull toxins away from the body, but salt also has anti-inflammatory properties to it. So if you have feet that are swollen or are inflamed, salt is helpful. So thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more DIY formulas, don't forget to like and subscribe. 